You know, when people think bucking bulls and ranches in general, they think of Texas, Oklahoma. Here we are in the foothills, the Appalachian Mountains, the Blue Ridge Parkway, and you know, the only flat land we have is probably man-made. This was my great-grandfather's place here, so we're back home where it all started in the family, and we decided this is no better place than home to build a facility, and we tried to build this facility to accommodate the, some of the best bulls in the world. The big bull and the little facility. Chicken on a chain. Um, he's by far the, the cornerstone of my program. Without him, I have, without a doubt, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I'm not sure ranching or farming or bucking bulls is the best living in the world, but we sure think it's the best way of life. And we want to try to make our kids from the time they're little up to have a sense of value of that. And this is what Tucker gets to do on a daily basis. It is what we do for a living, but it is our life. It's, it encompasses all areas of life from the minute you get up in the morning. You know, we know we've got all these animals, horses, bulls, cows, calves, everything. So we've got stuff to take care of. And we try to do it as a family. We involve all of our family as much as we can. Go to Rango. He's probably our rankest bull we got going on the truck right now. I think he's the only bull we got that could be a serious title contender. Dealt a blow by Rango. For Gunpowder, he's a little more on the hard side to handle. The Money Bull, Gunpowder Lead. We want to try to make this facility as much as it would be like they're on the road. And everything is like a constant to them all the time. You know, they get fed the same time each morning and each night. They pen the same way they would be on the road. So we try to keep everything as consistent here as we would on the road. He's a quiet person. He's actually um, very shy. He's always got his hat pulled down over his eyes. You know, he likes to be around his family and he likes to be around his bulls and be at home. It gives me an opportunity to spend a little time with her, catch up on what's going on in her life. And we get to work the bulls at the same time. So it's kind of a win-win situation for me. He really enjoys his time with his family. He loves to just hang out. You know, let's go eat. Let's just go all hang out, go to a movie. Let's go get ice cream. Let's do something as a family. This is their project calf. So they, they feed her a couple times a day. Come here. Sometimes she gets a little rough on them, it pops them in the nose, but it's all good at the end of the day. You know, they're part of what we do every day, and we are a part of what Jeff does every day. So, it, you know, that does make it the family business. You know, we're all a part of it.